Hello, today we're going to talk, uh, do an example of using sets. And so today we're going to determine, hey, is a set finite or infinite by looking at it, okay? So in this example here, we've got four parts. And so in this part here, so in A, what do we have? We've got the set of numbers. We've got 7, 8, 9, then the ellipsis, and the 14. Now remember, the ellipsis means that, hey, it continues in like fashion up until it stops. So here it goes to 14. So this would be a finite set because it only includes the numbers 8, 7, 8, 9, all the way up to 14. So that would include 10, 11, 12, and 13. So how many elements are in this set? Well, we would count what? 7 to 14. So in this case, there are 8. Okay? So that means the size of that set is 8. There's only 8 elements in the set. Now what about B? Notice the pattern here. It goes 1, and then 1 fourth, 1 sixteenth, 1 sixty fourth. So the denominator, this is powers of 4. So this would be 1 over 4 to the 0, 1 over 4 to the 1, 1 over 4 to the 3, 1 over 4 to the 4, and so on. So this keeps going. The ellipsis says, hey, this keeps going for infinity. There's no ending point. So this would be an infinite set. Okay? Uh, C, set subbuilder notation. So it says the set of all x such that x is a fraction between 1 and 2. Well, we just have to ask ourselves, how many fractions exist between 1 and 2? Well, the answer is infinite, right? There's an infinite number of fractions between 1 and 2, okay? Um, and then D says the set of all x such that x is a natural number between 9 and 11. And is that infinite or finite? Well, we're talking about, again, natural numbers, and we're talking about between 11 and 9. Okay, in that case, there's only one. There's only one natural number between 9 and 11. That's 10. Okay, so this is finite. And that's it. So that's how you determine some of the examples of uh, determining between uh, finite and infinite sets. See you next time.